I'm the king of rock. There is none higher than the king of rock. Brian, you said you really had no earthly idea that you were going to come the legend right. that you did. You were like, you know, they called, you had a rhyme book. Okay, we'll just see what's happening. Right. Like, boom, now later. So just to get a record on the radio mm -hmm. and tell our friends on the corner, hey, oh, listen to the radio it's Friday cool. night. Yeah. Yes, that was, that was the thing. Just to be like Flash and Africa Bambada. Right. Well, I had no idea he was being in a rock and roll hall. Now, now, how old were you in the sun picture here? I was 19 on the first nice. album. So you literally were a kid. I was a kid, I mean, yeah. first out of high school. Yeah. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah, but you're 19. I was 19 years old. Um, when I was graduating from high school, they put the big seat in front of you and say, take a parade. What do you want to do? <laughs> I looked at my best friend who was at his other page and said, oh, I know. He said, hold up. Pick St. Lawrence University and pick business management. So that's what I did. Right. And that summer when we graduated from high school, mm -hmm. when we went to the studio and made the first record, like that stuff in keys, made the record so well, the record was made, whatever, whatever. Summer went by. I was in my second semester at St. Lawrence just the first St. John's University, mm -hmm. and the record started getting radio play, Russell got a deal, you know, on this little independent label from Profile Records, and yeah. the record got hot, and I took a leave of absence, because I knew I was going to be back that yeah. next year, but I took a leave of, I didn't drop out of high school, like, all of these favorites, and I took a leave of absence, and then that's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> from that, now you're being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, that has to be almost a real for you. Yeah, this is all. This ain't really happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, this is after this. After we shoot this, they taking it down. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Though. So it's crazy. I came here like came here like about five. I came here in 2004. Okay. Looking at you know like me, I'm a rock and roll head. Zeppelin, Beatles, Dennis Joplin. For, you know, all the Elvis, all the just rock and roll, I love that. And I, yeah, this is like a joke. I'm like, okay, when is it going to be over? Yeah. It doesn't be nominated was huge. Yeah. But then when they said we was inducted, even with my class, you know, I mean, right, right. What, what's good about this is not just about the groups, it's about the validation for, um, you know, hip hop is a legitimate form of music. A fad. It, was, it wasn't, when we first came out, they, they thought it was a fad, but it was going on so much before that that we really couldn't hear them. So when they were saying, okay, how, what are you going to be doing next year? I remember they asked us that question. We had a show in Vegas, and it was like, what do you think you're going to be doing, you know, what are you going to do with your life? It was like, what do you mean I'm going to do with my life? A minute ago I was in college, now I got a, I got a hit record. So it was never a question in our mind of how long it's going to last. Everybody else was worried about was it a career or was it going to last? They were thinking too much. People thinking, and we was only thinking about the now. If you've ever read the book, The Power of Now, we were kids and happy, and people were trying to ask us, how long you think this is going to last? Just mean, bad question. We're having fun, dude. And I remember one time, even though know, 83 or 84, it was always, Run D&J, uh, what do you think you'll be in five years, and is this a fad? 84 to 80, even with Raising Hell, Walk This Way, My Adidas. We was on tour with we was on tour with LL Cool J, Houdini and the Beastie Boys. We was killing. We was we was crazy. It was and they still would say that. I remember one night I got offended by the reporter. He was like, Run D and Tate, where do you think you'll be in five years? And I was like, In ten years I'll be back here doing an interview with you. About two years ago I was doing a press conference, journalist put his hand up and said, DMC in eighty in eighty six, raising hell, I asked you where do you think you'll be in five? You told me in fifteen you'll be here. He was like, I'm that reporter. So I don't think we had to get um, you know, defensive. We just kept doing what we was doing. And I found out this week that when we did King of Rock video, that they didn't have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame facility yet. It was prophetic. I'm the king of rock. There is none higher. Sucker in speed. To call me dire. To burn my kingdom. You must use fire. I won't stop rocking till I retire.